Hello and welcome to Avis Classroom. So in today's video, we will be looking into deploying our own VPN service on Microsoft Azure. So we've all heard of VPN services. We use VPNs to basically hide our identities online and get it covered from the ISP. And ISP is the internet service provider. So if you're in Sri Lanka and you know the ISPs, SLT, Dialog, and companies like that they can track your data when you go online so by using this VPN you can route your traffic to elsewhere so you become invisible to the ISP still most free VPN services out there collect your data in order to give you that free experience so we are gonna look into how to deploy our own secure VPN service in Azure so we're gonna head over to portal.azure.com so as you can see I'm in the Azure portal and I will go ahead to my subscription and then I will go and click on resource groups so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new resource group named as let's say um, open VPN so make sure that you put the region of the resource group as the country you're gonna set your VPN in so if I set East US here I can deploy my VPN on East US uh, it doesn't really matter but just make sure to set the country just to make things more clear and easier so I'm gonna go ahead with East US I'm gonna skip on to review and create no need to add tags and then hit on create and yep it's created we are going to head over to our resource group and we're going to create resources so in here we're going to search for open VPN and make sure you select this by open VPN Inc not this one by some other guy so we're going to head over to create and we're going to create an open VPN access server so open VPN is kind of an open source VPN service that we can use and all right so our subscri subscription is selected and the resource group is set properly so the virtual machine name we're gonna call it open VPN in East US all right it's gonna be in East US we don't need availability zone so go ahead and select on no infrastructure redundancy required gonna keep it on standard give the de default VM image and I'm not gonna be using SWAT discount and you will need mm, this standard B1S is more than enough to run your VPN service so don't select SSH public key just select password so let's give this username as um, let's give me Evis class room and the password as mm, let's give a password user at one two three four the value must be between 12 and 72 characters long okay we'll give user at one two three four five six Alright then we're gonna go ahead to disks and um, you don't need an SSD just select an hard disk it's it's a server we are not gonna be running so much high performance workloads in it so just to make things easier I'll just choose the standard SSD but if you're gonna choose a cost-effective solution just stick with the SSHDD and platform manage keys make sure you select on delete with VM otherwise your disk will be there even if you delete the VM after you use it so go ahead, go ahead to networking mm, keep these at default and make sure you select this delete public IP and NIC when VM is deleted click on that and go ahead to management mm, yep that's all I'm gonna turn off auto shutdown I don't need auto shutdown it's just seven bucks per month so not gonna be needed to turn it off but like after you use the VPN of course you can shut off the server and it will 
reduce your price it may be cost you like two dollars per month at the end which is like roughly 600 rupees and you convert to Sri Lankan rupees and I'm gonna go ahead to monitoring disable boot diagnostics and then hit on advanced and there's nothing to configure here so I'm gonna go ahead to review and create okay as you can see um, it will cost 0 0.0104 dollars an hour let's go ahead and check how much is that US dollars you're gonna basically be around 32 rupees per hour that's a great deal with the SSD added it's gonna be like 40 maybe alright so we're gonna go ahead and create it so while it's validating we are gonna head over to openvpn.net so here we need to create an account so I'm gonna hit on get started for free and make sure you hit on access server so let's try using a Gmail oh and yes you could use your Gmail as well that's a great thing to know so you don't actually need a work email address you can use your personal mail address but make sure you're using it for educational purposes only otherwise it will violate the terms and conditions adding the verification code and once you fill in your details just confirm and you'll be in this portal yeah so when you're in the activation key page you're gonna hit on purchase a new key and you're gonna continue with the free one so you get two free connections with this activation key so I will be using my existing one without the new one anyways so we're gonna head over to the yep the VM is created so we're gonna go to the resource and starting up so while we're at it we need to download what's called putty or you can just SSH into it if you have it in your terminal head over and copy the public IP address head over to your terminal hit on SSH your username and hit on it and paste your IP address and you'll be SSHing in hit on yes and here you need to enter your password so as I remember it's user at all right you're gonna click on yes actually you have to enter the text yes and once again enter yes so here you're gonna see please specify the network interface and IP address to be used by the admin web UI you're gonna select one which is all interfaces and here press enter for default once again enter for default and the RSA hit enter for default again 2048 when you get that hit enter for defaults and here yep you're gonna enter for default once again and port 443 again hit enter so yep hit enter for default back again mm, yep enter for default and hit enter for default again and here when, once you get do you wish to log into the admin UI as open VPN you get to choose the username of the admin so I'm gonna hit on no and I'm gonna specify a new username so I'll put it as Smith and hit on enter and type a password for Smith so I'm gonna put a password for Smith I'm gonna confirm the password oh and here when you get this you can activate it now or later we are gonna activate it later so hit on enter and it will create the first setup of the server it will start up later all right so to the admin UI you can go through this but when you click it it's gonna be 
for something so it's not going to be our IP uh, IP is going to be this so it's fine I'm going to go ahead and copy this up and go to a new tab paste it and once again copy the IP back from here and select this part hit backspace and paste the IP and hit on enter so it's our own server so we don't have anything to worry about hit on advanced and accept the risk and continue I'm using Firefox as my browser you get a similar thing on Google as well so the username is Smith as we gave and the password is yep hit on agree okay so here we can enter our activation key I'm gonna go ahead and copy the activation key and paste it over here and hit on activate and my subscription will load up and yes I have two available VPN connections so now um, we are gonna do an important part over here we're gonna head over to the network settings and then here as the host name or IP address this is not our IP so this is the local IP so we're gonna um, copy the public IP address and head back over to the server and hit on paste it. and make sure you use TCP only it's because sometimes UDP doesn't work and hit on save settings and it will be automatically saved and hit on update running server all right we're gonna try again let's go ahead back to the server and check whether our settings are updated configuration network settings yes it's successfully updated and then we'll go ahead and we need to download the openvpn client so remember our service deployed in east us and we're gonna head over to Yep, I'm gonna search open VPN client download open VPN connect it's called open VPN connect and we're gonna download version 3 so the download will continue in a moment I'm gonna go ahead and install it Don't next accept the terms and conditions next and install on yes when it prompts for the admin screen and then it will continue installing for a while so update and collection you can hit on agree so you can either go via URL so I'm gonna be copying the IP address back again and pasting it over here hit on next and you have to accept it and we'll Put the username we used Smith and the password so port is optional connect after import so import hit the password again all right yes it's connected and here I'm gonna type in what is my location okay my location is Washington DC um, check this out when I turn off the VPN and hit refresh yep it's back to my country and once you connect back again we'll check how the IP address changes as well and we're gonna hit on refresh and yes I'm back in Washington so let's check what's my IP it's 172 and one blah 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 and I'm gonna turn off the VPN remember this IP and I'm gonna 
refresh this up and now it's something else so that's the very fundamental way of hiding your IP and stuff using the open VPN access server and here you can also actually add users wait I will show you how it's done um, we're gonna go ahead to our server I mean our own open VPN server that we deployed and I'm gonna hit on user management and go to user profiles and here I can add another user so I'm gonna hit on new profile um, Ah oh no, sorry, not user profiles. It's gonna be user permissions, I guess. Yeah, here. In user permissions, I'm gonna add a new user called Saman. All right. We're gonna make a lot of auto login and hit on save settings. gonna head out to update the running server okay running service updated go back to user management okay as you can see there's someone now someone can actually log in I'm gonna log out as this thing and I'm gonna add this back again the IP I'm gonna go ahead and click on summon I don't think this password we're gonna set the password here in user permissions you're gonna go to more settings and set a password over here make sure you go to more settings and set a password and save settings down below and update the running server and I'm gonna go here and check alright so someone is there and I'm gonna head to to the password and let me check yep is working to this use as well so likewise uh, you can add you and your friend and you could pull in money and get this VPN server which will cost you less than a thousand LKR or in dollars it's about three or four dollars per month but if you're using it full time I think it's gonna cost you seven dollars you're just paying for the server that's deployed on Azure so there are many more um, services such as AWS, Google, where you can deploy your open VPN servers and basically make a more secure VPN for like half of the price that other VPN service providers are offering. So I hope this video gave you an understanding how servers work on Azure and the things you could take out of Microsoft Azure. There are endless possibilities. So in a previous video I talked about Azure OpenAI services so something new is gonna come I'm gonna show some new features of OpenAI um, in the next video perhaps so hope you learned something from this video and we'll see you back in the next one thanks for watching this classroom